Huh? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> Excuse me. Is someone inspired? Like, what's <laughs> what's happening? What are are they just doing? Like a, a lag check? Like, what is this? I no, they're playing. Okay, this is the match. All right. Okay, Sharp has inspired everyone to just play random tonight. I guess. <laughs> Uh, Stretch, Stretch gonna say uh, consistent here. Uh, <laughs> Stretch wants this tournament, and honestly, I, I hope Stretch can go all the way because uh, he's been an absolute pleasure to watch tonight. Just straight consistent gameplay. Um, just really, there's not a whole lot of flaws. Yeah, he's. I really like his uh, willingness to just go so aggressive off stage with his character. Yeah. I, I just think that's one of her strengths that not a lot of people super, super abuse. Especially because, like, you know, like, the consistency of her sword, like, all around means that you don't need to perfectly space to get, like, a taper off stage. You just need to just keep hitting them <laughs> over and right. over. And it's, like, all really strong hits, especially the back air. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and the thing is about the back air, too, is, like, if you happen to whip the back air, which would normally kill, it just turns you around, and now you have a forward air It just has a much bigger hitbox in general, and it'll just send them straight out, and it's, like, they're both quick, too, so it's really not, like, a lose situation. If you miss, it's not like you don't have another shot half the time. Oh, that was beautiful, though. Got the Dancing Blade 1 into the up air. Yes. Man, if all carries a get on random, though, it's, uh, kind of unlucky to get Ice Climbers and... If you don't, you know, know the decent super well, this matchup is very hard, I would say. It seems just has no real problem just swatting Nana away. Oh, oh. this is definitely a stock air, right? 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 Maybe. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally actually... getting the shield breaker to actually break the shield. Like, he's Good. been hitting shield breaker a lot, but not actually breaking a shield with it. Well, let's see what's going to happen for this final stock here. This has been a very interesting MSM. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I I don't know. It's very, very unpredictable so far, I would say. Ooh, that was very interesting. Uh, he found a way to split them up and started getting a dancing blade on uh, on Popo, but then Nana had something to say about that about halfway through. <laughs> yeah, something else we've seen in this matchup. It's, like, not difficult at all to separate the two. And uh, oh, since yeah. you have so much range and speed, once they are separated, you can just, you know, keep them that way with relative ease. Oh, yep. easy for smash. Uh, Sobo just doesn't have the range to contend with a lot of what Lucina wants to throw out. That's just a very, very difficult situation to be in. But uh, I don't think Burst minds because he picked random to begin with. <laughs> kind of what he signed up for, I, I guess. Yeah, well... We'll see what's going to happen uh, as we go into our next game here. Uh, what happened to this top eight? <laughs> like, we had Chunky Kong DQ in Loser's Quarters. Um, we had Armadillo, unfortunately, have to DQ for other reasons. Yeah. And then yeah. Stretch, Stretch just absolutely blowing through people. Uh, Sharp doing his thing. And now we got uh, Burst going random, I guess. Yeah. My only thought at for this is just like maybe it's just really late for them and they're just like you know it is what it is like if i get if i get third whatever man <laughs> i'm chilling i don't know that that's how i feel about it anyway and now we got the uh Olimar on stage Olimar's not one of those characters man that you yeah you gotta you gotta put a little bit of time into and it's not necessarily because the character has uh a bunch of crazy stuff going on but it's, it's the resource management like that that's that's where the character uh you'll either make or break honestly yeah that's what uh, separates you know a lot of the uh, good alamar players from the other ones just knowing exactly what lineup is often for the certain situation but again this is another matchup i feel that lucina just has a really good time <laughs> just swatting away alamar can edge guard him really well and get rid of the pikmin pretty well too also, uh, Almar's landing options aren't the best either. There it is, though. Great tech, but yeah, there's that setup again, the Dancing Blade 1 off stage. Even more effective, though, in this matchup, since Almar's uh, recovery doesn't have a hitbox at all. So, not a huge risk going for that in this matchup. 
right, yep, trying to go out there for his uh, edge guard of their own, but unfortunately Stretch is just going to be able to bully his way back to the stage. Oh, great nice back air, though, with the purple Pikmin, too. Yep. The best uh, back air that Alomar has, he has that purple active. Very, very strong move. Yep. Stretch recognizing that he might try to fall with the whistle to avoid, you know, getting juggled again, so he's going to wait that out. Oh. Wow. Yep, going to throw out the counter twice there. Stage here. Oh, just a little bit off on his back air spacing. Oh, man, great parry. Oh, that was actually really crazy. Oh, geez. Okay, Burst is definitely playing a little brave here. Now, when the Pikmin are on, that extends the, hit, uh, the hurt box a little bit, right? Or the hit box? Yes, it does, just slightly. So you actually have to be a little bit careful when they're throwing moves out like that, because then their uh, moves will just linger a little bit longer than normal. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, interesting option. Uh, one for our backer there, just trying to catch maybe uh, Burst trying to be a little too greedy on the ledge. And then Dolphin Slash immediately afterwards, but no punish. From burst, so it's not a huge deal for stretch. But now we have to see if they can find the stock here instead. And we're gonna see the back throw. Yellow Pikmin though is not gonna be enough. Oh, oh but a beautiful that. shield breaker. Shield breaker at ledge that stretch loves to go for. Again, very, very safe option to, to throw out because if they try to challenge it, they'll get hit most of the time. And if they hold shield too long, it'll just get shield broken. So I really like that from stretch. Nice, setting up another uh, ledge trap here. I mean, it also helps that, like, uh, what is it? Stretch has basically been fishing for that, like, all all night anyway. Uh, when he's coming back from uh, from off stage, he'll throw out a shield breaker. Like, it seems like maybe he's just trying to harass, this, you know, the opponent's shield or something. He's kind of getting the back off. But, you know, at that time, he's able to take a whole stock. Oh. And the down air is going to take that uh, game, too. Uh, Stretch looking pretty good. Yeah, Stretch is just like, all right, buddy. Like, it's going to play random. I, I mean, sure. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not gonna, you know, go easy at all. Yeah, I, I really like that offstage play from Stretch at the end. Honestly, just his offstage play in general has just been very, very fun to watch. I, be, I wonder if Stretch is hoping that uh, Burst on his potential last random pick here like he gets yet yeah, another character that has a easy recovery to just harass off stage <sighs> i mean we'll, we'll see <laughs> stretch has been getting some pretty good matchups here and oh, okay all right i i said it <laughs> here's fox yeah. one of the characters that gets blown up off stage some of the uh, some of the most in this game but let, let's see how this goes this matchup is not horrible at all Fox can definitely blow up Lucina. Like Fox, Lucina's disadvantage in the the Fox matchup is kind of hard for. Her. But uh, let, let's see. Let's see how good versus Fox is in the first place. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's like Fox is one of those characters I feel like it can do well against every character. It's a matter of oh, oh. everyone, every every Fox that like isn't super experienced, they automatically buffer uh, air dodge when they get hit by that Dancing Blade one out of the Fire Fox. I do the same thing with, with Marth. I literally kill so many foxes that way. Just because they're like conditioned to think they're gonna have to tech from getting hit out of their firefox. And then they just they just buffer air dodge and die. Right, yeah, no, that was definitely a very great option from Stretch. But uh I feel like Fox is one of those characters that can honestly do well against every character. It's just a matter of can of does the player know how to edge guard properly? And if they can, like that can really just make or break the Fox player. It's just a matter of kind of switching up your recoveries and stuff. And good stuff right there. Again, gonna squeak out another stock. Uh, Stretch definitely uh, on fire with these edge guards. Nice, nice. Punishing the whip grab with the up smash. Staying alive just a little bit here. I've really yet to see... Uh... Okay, that's, that's a good start. But yeah, I haven't seen first get much of any combo stars in uh, in neutral here. You also have to be very careful too uh, with what she chooses to start combos with Fox and Lucina, because you can just up B out at low percent. Oh, yep. Yep. but it doesn't even matter. Completely obliterated off stage because uh, that's, how, that's how it is with Fox. <laughs> if you're not amazing at recovering, um, Lucina's just going to eat you up off stage. <laughs> 